Hello to my Leos. All right, Leos. This is Queen Amunra coming to you with your general reading, Leos. Let's get it. Let's see what's in your cards. When the moon is in Leo, that's a call back to your strength, your energy, your power, and relationships, right? So either your personal or your business relationships. It's called back to power. Like, I need to balance this thing out. I need to balance it out, right? So make sure I'm not giving too much to one side and I'm you know, lacking in another side of my life. Like, so not too much to business where I'm lacking in my personal life. Let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards. Let's see what's in your cards as we head towards this full moon that we're going to have on the 21st of June. It's a full strawberry moon. Yeah. So we started out this cycle in a uh, new moon in Gemini. Gemini's card is the uh, lover's card. So lover's card is about partnerships whether it's a partnership in romantic or a partnership in business, but it's also a card about decisions. So somebody is making a, a firm decision to live a balanced life, a healthy work-life balance. You hear people say that all the time, um, but when you give one too much to one side and not enough to the other, it's imbalanced and it can be draining and catch up to you. It can catch up to you. So let's get into it. Let's see what's in your cards. I've already prayed over your cards. Let's see what's in them. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune. Here we have, there it is. Here we have the Ten of Cups. Here we have the Nine of Swords. Here we have the uh, three, of, uh, three of Wands. Here we also have the King of Wands. Here we also have the Queen of Wands. This is what we're talking about right here. So the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's going to feel very, very fortunate that balance is now being restored to family, right? Balance is being restored, but it's being restored, first of all, within your divine masculine to your divine feminine. Somebody has taken some time to relax, right? Waking up from some nightmares. And this is what I'm talking about. When you give too much to one side of your life, it neglects the other side. Like you don't even see it until it's almost like you almost have to be forced to sit down. You know how like some people are almost forced to take a vacation. If you're a workaholic, you don't see how much it can affect your home life until, you know, something horrible happens, you know, like a person is like, okay, you don't pay enough attention to me or, you know, people don't even recognize this, you know, yeah, sure. You may have all of these things to show for it, but then somebody says, you know, you don't even, I don't even recognize you anymore or, you know, so source is saying, you know, you're going to feel very fortunate to have balance restored. However, source is restoring balance and also using Pluto, which is currently retrograde helping to restore balance to Mother Earth. So balance is being restored. And so now somebody moving forward can take a leap of faith now that you're awakening from some nightmares, you know, in your life and just kind of sort of really starting to appreciate balance, you know, in your life, right? Here we have King of King of Wands and also the Queen of Wands, right? King and Queen of Wands. So yeah, somebody's in much better spirits. You feel a lot more balanced. You feel better about inspiring and motivating and praying for people from your throne. You can help people to adjust their crown. Somebody, like I said, in much better spirits. You know, um, you're inspired by different things now. But, you know, when you're when you restore balance to your family life, just like you had that peace within this. Uh, we got the Ten of Cups here. Ten of Cups is about divine connections not toxic connections, divine connections. Um, and so when you talk about your divine connections, it takes on another, it takes another life form, right? So when you talk about, um, when you think about like, um, uh, you start looking at, let's look at this, let's look at this card right here. You start looking at your kids differently like it does it if you're working with somebody with you working with people who are let's say you work in an office and you um you 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 know work in an office where you have people who are um who are just very toxic then you start thinking what I want my kids to work in an office with people toxic like this what I want my kids to have to go through what the on the receiving end of what I'm seeing people being bullied or that kind of stuff or what I want them to be the bully like what I want my own kids to be on the receiving end of that what I what I what would I do to help them you know what would I, you start think it start taking on a whole new shape 
right? So ten of um, ten of uh, cups is about divine love, blissful relationships, harmony, alignment. You don't start looking at people as your competition. You start looking at I want divine connections. I want that those that I want those connections, right? Well, I want we're pouring into each other. This is not my enemy. You know, I want to at bare minimum. We're looking at what we have in common here. Bare minimum, we're human beings, right? So let's see how we can, how I can pour into that person as a better human being. Because and then you have kids, or if you don't have kids, your inner child. What my inner child? The innocence of an inner child. So somebody's just looking at things and look through a different lens now. So however, source, because we starting out with water, your intuition has been increased. Somebody's intuition has been increased. Somebody's like, okay. Somebody, you know, a lot of people, this card is coming out in a lot of cards, a lot of readings, that nightmare, waking up from a nightmare. Nine of swords doesn't just happen in one year. Nine of swords can come out through a series of, it can come out because Pluto is retrograde. So it can, um, it could have happened from, you could be waking up from nightmares from your own childhood. And just like, man, I wish I had, you know, I, I really wish I had, you know, and, and something from something as simple as, seeing a manager at work um, attack or target one of your colleagues at work could trigger something. So sources so say whatever it is, somebody is now saying, okay, let me step back and take some time to look at some things. Let me, let me take some time to look at some things from the throne. Here we have the two of pentacles here. So this is about balance, 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 balance. Somebody's like, okay, I'm not wearing a mask. I'm a hardworking person. I'm not wearing a mask. I'm not pretending like I, I have it all figured out. I'm not pretending like I have it figured out. I'm a hardworking person myself, and so I get it. So here we have the chariot card, and that's what Source is going to reward you for, not wearing a mask, pretending like, okay, I, I can do everything. I could just I, I can just carry everybody's weight on my shoulder. So Source is saying from your throne, you're going to start praying for people. Adjusting your crown, helping other people to adjust theirs, adding some structure. So it's just saying you're going to start adding some structure to um, initiating. When you feel that somebody, when somebody feel like, you know, somebody is the prey, whether it's in the workplace, in your personal or your professional life, you're going to go straight into praying for everybody. That's what I'm seeing when I look at the cards here. And so sources that I'm giving you some time to kind of sort of add some structure and authority to this. So that you can be the leader. These two cards right here are cardinals. These are cardinal um, zodiac signs. So cardinal zodiac sign initiate change, a change of season. So source is saying, okay, I'm passing you the ball. What you gonna do with it? You're the one that's initiating the change. I just gave you an assignment. What you gonna do with it? I need you to stay on the throne and pray for people, right? So that's what source is trying to, to help. Um, you know, help people. So here we have the uh, hierophant card. Which lets me know that um, there could have been some material stuff involved that could have caused somebody to be kind of like stuck. Like there could have been some kind of something material involved. So material could be home. It could be physical person involved, like physical people involved. It could be health could have been um, uh, could have affected. Something was involved. It could have been somebody's religious beliefs could have been involved something could have been involved that caused somebody to freeze up um so let's see what else we got going on here let's see what else we have so you know moving forward looking at here we have two and three or five so something had to do with some religious beliefs and source needed somebody to like okay when you were at a fork in the road about some situations Source needed somebody to pray, you know, over some situations. See this lion right here? This lion right here is just really just like, you know, just that lion in you, right? Um, symbolizing bravery and success and leadership, you know. So doesn't matter who it was, Source needed somebody to lead, like really, really take some kind of leadership and not kind of sort of let their flesh take over. Just like, okay, I need you to lead you in prayer, like, I need you to pray for everything, right? And not let your flesh get involved, like step down off of the throne and, um, you know, be in confusion about something. So that's the source is actually rewarding somebody moving forward. So look now, like I said, this nine of swords is coming out in a lot of cards. This nine of swords is coming, I mean, a lot of readings, excuse me, not a lot of cards, but a lot of readings. So whatever it was that source is saying, um, 
you know, from now on, when you're confused about something, we know that the devil is the author of confusion. That's when you want to start praying for clarity. Okay, source, and then get in, you know, what well, I can't say get in, because we, if you're balanced out, then, you know, that's what you're saying. Okay, I need to kind of sort of, um, I need to be, intentionally be in receiving modes. I need to hear directly from source within, right? I, I need to, I need to um, be in a space, a peaceful place so I can receive. I can really, really receive. I need to get away from all of the noise and the all of that so I can really, really receive. So here we have the judgment card. Yeah, so source is saying, um, you know, getting away from other people's harsh judgment of others and those kind of things and really starting moving with going along with sources flow of just kind of helping in terms of like uh sharpening when we talk about this right here sword energy you know helping uh sharpening other people's knowledge and um uh other people's knowledge helping to sharpen other people's knowledge it's not a competition it's just like helping other people like working along helping other people uh so yeah so let's see what else we got let's see what else we got let's see what else we got here Let's see what else we got. So here we have the full card. So somebody is definitely leaving a lot of distractions behind and like really, really getting, you know, so you're going to feel very fortunate as far as two situations are concerned. Like I said, just leaving a lot of distractions behind. And that's why you're being rewarded. So this is actually rewarding you for leaving the distractions behind and balancing things out. Here we have the ace of um, wands. And so that's what's going to cause somebody to be victorious is just like waking up from some nightmares and saying, okay, I need to balance some things out. Because again, a moon in Libra is about, you know, practicing receiving, trusting, and asking for equal, just exchange, you know, for things. And just, um, um, just balance, you know, balance within yourself, you know, balance within yourself. So that you don't feel like you're giving more than what you are you know, receiving in return, like you're meaning that, like I said, you're giving, giving, giving so much at work that by the time you get home, there's just like droplets of joy left in you. It's just like, okay, I'm just too exhausted to even give my family anything. Or you're giving so much at home when you get to work that it's like, because we're talking about the scales, like balancing things out, that you're giving so much at home that, you know, at work, you don't have anything. You have very little to give and they can't figure out why you're not being promoted. So source is saying you're learning how to balance things out and you're closing out cycles with energies that are materialistic um, and energies that is their way of the highway. It's because that's very toxic. You don't even want to be connected to that. You know, it's just very toxic. It's their way of the highway. Um, they like to create a bunch of forest fires around things and you don't even know everything that's going on so so let's see what else we got let's see what else we have let's see what else we have um here we have nine of wands here so now somebody's you know learning how to come into the light you know for some things here we have the nine of wands here we have the five of cups the nine of pentacles page of cups ace of cups and also the wheel of fortune again so again, Wheel of Fortune came out three times. Somebody's going to feel very fortunate, you know, like I said, moving forward because Source is the one that's actually rewarding you for moving forward. You know, just like I'm getting out of a, like moving on beyond a, uh, a situation, you know, like you're in a whole new cycle, like left a bunch of distractions behind Nine of Wands. Now that you're in the light about some things. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Now that you're in the light about some things, here we have the Nine of Pentacles. So this is going to make sure you're financially independent. So you have to be connected to certain things. Here we also have the Ace of Cups here. So, um, and really just uh, uh, learning how to protect your water, learning how to protect your creativity. You got some good news coming in. So whatever it is you've been praying for, for yourself, you got some good news coming in. So Source wants you to move forward in childlike faith. Source wants you to move in. Because remember, this is a general reading, so take only what resonates with you. So... Uh, you're going to feel very fortunate. It's not luck at all. It's really just the, the prayers that you have been praying for somebody. You've been praying for everybody, like really been praying for everybody, like 
praying without ceasing, praying for clarity, um, um, you know, praying that, uh, praying for balance for somebody, you know, um, praying that when I look at the cards here, like uh, legacy wealth here, um, and just like that things are exposed, like masks are being removed. Like what's the, what's the motive? Like what is going on? Like, I want to know what is going on. Like what, what's going, what's really happening? What's going on? So that's what I feel like is, um, and so somebody's going to feel very fortunate to, to be able to move forward, to be able to move forward. And so here we have the, uh, like I said, nine of swords here. It's like somebody is just waking up from a nightmare. And that nightmare, the nine of swords could have been, I'm telling you, it could have been from years ago. You'd be surprised one situation can trigger things from just like what in the world, like something at work could have triggered something that's totally, you think is totally unrelated, you know, to work. So, um, document your day and drink your night dream. So love up on yourselves more is what source wants somebody to do. And so, but there were signs all around somebody. You are who somebody prayed for. Um, yeah, you are who somebody prayed for. So e either somebody is already with their person and y'all are living a very harmonious life already, building a very rich legacy together. But somebody is waking from, from some other nightmares. And we're not just talking about just like ex love interest, ex whatever. It could have been because I'm seeing these kids down on this card up here. It could have been from anything. Anything could have, you know, triggered um, maybe a nightmare. You maybe moved around a lot when you were little, you know, that could have been a nightmare for you. Like, here we go again, packing more boxes. This is a nightmare or I mean anything. So, um, yeah. So source wants somebody says it's time to heal your wounded, uh, healer. Um, yeah, here we have, yeah. Source wants somebody to just relax, just like try to relax, be patient. More answers are coming. Yeah, the well of joy is within, you know. So trust your first mind, you know, you want to trust your first mind. But, yeah. Yep, so something is being restored, you know. Something is definitely being restored. But um, here are the questions for the moon and Libra for people who want, who like the questions. Before we pull some more. Last card, last few minutes. Uh, last cards. First question is: Is your work bringing more peace, justice, beauty, or harmony to the world? And then, how could you amplify that? Second question is: What would happen if you spend more time with people who are completely at peace with themselves? Third question is: Do you receive as much as you give, or vice versa? Fourth question is, which small steps could you take to create more beauty in your space? And then last but not least is, what would happen if you were to shift from complaining to a permanent sense of gratitude? Um, complaining actually invokes more nightmares. Like complaining about like who burned you in the past, who did this and that. It puts you on a particular frequency uh, and it attracts the people that uh, have their nightmares about the same thing. So it's like you find yourself connecting with people that had the same kind of nightmares and you just don't know well like how did i meet these type of people what are we we all talking about the same we trauma bonding right so here we have number 40 come all come now expand into the skies and into the shadows below yeah into the shadows below fertility yeah so yeah you're definitely fertile in whatever you seed and whatever you water so source is saying whatever seeds you're planting um and you water those seeds we still want water right here it will grow so be very careful about you know what what seeds you're planting and what, what soil you're planting those seeds and since we're talking about a full strawberry moon that we're going to have on the 21st so yeah Yeah, because if you're around a lot of hot-headed energies, looking at all this fire here, a lot of blow-torching, hot-headed, jumping to conclusions, impulsive types of energies, though, it'll stunt your growth. 
and what you're trying to give birth to. So if you're trying to if you're trying to grow sacred relationships, if you're trying to grow your money, it'll slow down the flow of whatever you prayed for if you're around those types of energies. So be careful of like like source is trying to tell somebody's like be careful of what you're talking about, invoking what you're invoking, because on that frequency you're attracting those types of energies and it'll slow down and somebody wasn't connecting those dots. Divine love. When you offer everything to the divine with detachment, you begin a love affair with spirit. Yep. So here's the last card and let's close it out. Last card and let's close it out. Last card and let's close it out. Three, three, three. I am powerful. So you are being called upon to use your spiritual gifts as a light worker, assisting all of humanity. Live your truth and be a positive light to others. See? Yep. Be a positive light to others. And so, um, and that is about balance. That's balance within. That's balance within. You don't have to prove someone else's darkness within to prove your light. Everybody has this balance of light and dark, seen, unseen, known, unknown within each physical body. And that's what the, um, that's what that new moon in Gemini, that duality shows everybody is that duality within the divine masculine to the divine feminine, the seen, unseen, known, unknown, all of that within. So that's what you want to attract other people who are whole and complete within, right? So uh, first card, uh, first question, is your work bringing more peace, uh, beauty, justice, and harmony to the world? And then how could you amplify that? Second question is what would happen if you spent more time with people who are completely at peace with themselves, in case we got this, we want to make sure we get the questions again in case you already um, have them. The third question is, do you receive as much as you give or vice versa? Fourth question is, which small steps could you take um, to create more beauty in your space? And then last but not least is, what would happen if you were to shift from complaining to a permanent sense of gratitude? Again, I want to make sure we got the questions. A lot of times people will send me sidebar text messages saying, hey, the questions went a little fast. <laughs> So you can pause it. That would be one thing, you know, one way. Um, sometimes people will write the questions out, you know, um, so that every, and then they pin to the top. So some people can do it that way, but um, sometimes I'll read them again. So that way you have them. But that's what I have for you, Leos. Thank you for joining me. And like I said, let's get ready for the most celebrated of the moon phases, which is the full moon on the 21st of June. And I'll see you in the next reading. Bye.